So I'm going to show you how to delete Microsoft Edge from Windows 10. The first thing I'm going to do is install another browser because we're going to need it. So you may um, want to install Google Chrome or Firefox or Brave browser. I'm going to install the Brave browser. Okay, I'm just going to test that Brave browser works. Um, it seems to work. So now we're ready to get rid of Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to go into the C drive. This is Windows Explorer, the file explorer. I'm going to go into C, Windows, System Apps. and then Microsoft dot Microsoft Edge and a, a sort of garbage key there and my, this is the Microsoft Edge dot exe the first thing I'm going to do is view file name extensions so I can see Microsoft Edge dot exe I'm going to right click on that and say properties security Um, advanced and we can see that Microsoft Edge.exe is owned by a user account called Trusted Installer. I'm going to click on change, click on advanced, find now and click the plural administrators account and OK. OK Then I'm going to apply that. Now, uh, okay, now I'm going to go back into properties, security, advanced, click on administrators, change permissions, click on administrators again and edit switch on full control okay okay yes and now I'm going to rename Microsoft Edge by right clicking on the XE rename and I'm going to rename it Microsoft Edge dot back confirm that I want to do that and close down so next I'm going to reboot the machine so just click restart and wait for it to come back up again and now I'm going to try and open this PDF file which Microsoft Edge would usually open that's not working Microsoft Edge from the start menu isn't work it from the um taskbar isn't working. And Microsoft Edge from the start menu isn't working. So I'm satisfied that that's not working anymore. I can unpin it from the taskbar. And now I'll pin my Brave browser to the taskbar. I also do programming tutorials uh, teaching people how to use Java. If you'd be interested in some of that then subscribe to my channel and give the video a like if it worked. Thanks for watching. And it's possible that Microsoft Edge might come back with a, a future Windows update. Now if that happens then I'll see if I can work out a way of writing a script where we can just double click on the script in the desktop to delete it again.